I bet you didn't know you can do these in Canva. Once you do, you might start using Canva for way more than just for design. I'm Natalia and I help you create better content and grow on social media. And today I'm sharing 10 things you didn't know you could do in Canva part two. If you love the first video, you're in for a treat because these ones are next level. Ready? Let's do this. Let's start with something that's super useful if you're building a course, a workshop, or even a digital product. So you can actually record full lessons directly inside Canva. You can present your slides, turn on your camera, use the presenter view, and then just do it all there without spending money on new software for this. It's a great way to keep everything in one place and create pre-recorded lessons without switching between five different tools. It works live too, which I covered in the previous video, and it's super useful because your video your presentation lives inside your Canva design so you can edit it right then and there. You can repurpose it, chop it up into reels or download and then of course add it straight to your course platform when you're ready. If you're a little shy and don't want to be on camera, you can just do a voiceover with slides through the exact same feature. It just works as well. By the way, if at any point you want me to walk you through any of these step by step, just drop me a comment down below and I'll make a dedicated tutorial for it. Now, if you make videos, whether it's a full on thing with YouTube or even shorts, Instagram reels or TikToks, you're going to love this one. You can create your own green screen, lower thirds transitions and animated elements using Canva's animation features. So instead of searching for hours and downloading random overlays or paying for templates that don't quite match your brand, you can animate your stuff, so your own subscribe banner, your own pop-up titles, topic transitions, and anything else that can visualize your points well. All you need to do is to pop them on a green background and then download as an MP4 video file. Then you can remove the green screen background in your editing software using chroma key, delta key, green screen, or background removing options, of course, depending on what editing app you're using. I've been doing this for years for all of my own videos because it keeps everything on brand and it's just so cool to be able to visualize things the way I want and have my own assets that I can reuse forever. Let's say you're a service provider, maybe you manage social media accounts, maybe you run ads or do consulting, or you're a content creator who regularly works with brands. Well, you can build interactive client reports inside Canva that looks super professional with embedded charts and feedback sections and even visual sliders. Using the new Canva Sheets and Magic Charts combo, you can turn your analytics and data into visual charts in minutes and then your clients will thank you for it because it's not just a spreadsheet anymore or you can package it up into a presentation using all the amazing charts, and then it's a clean, visual, understandable report that actually gets read. This one is so fun and something that my Instagram community really enjoyed back in the day when I first shared it there. You can easily make your own branded stickers in Canva, which you can then use on stories, at reels and TikToks. You can use them in your emails and even things like your presentations and course materials. First, you can create your own stickers by adding effects to text and then combining various different elements from the library. Make sure you apply your colors either from the brand kit if you have pro or by adding your color palette image to the design first, then right clicking it and choosing apply colors a few times to shuffle it. Then make sure you save them as PNG with transparent background and put them wherever you like from now on. For some extra flair, you could use Magic Animate to add movement to your new stickers and then export them as GIFs with transparent backgrounds. This adds a little fun motion and it just makes things interesting. You could have little animated doodles, create callouts, you could make your logo pop or move a certain way. So it's just another way to emphasize something and again, keep things nicely branded and original. And if you want to try out some of these features like a handy brand kit, magic animate or custom charts, you can try Canva Pro for $0 for 30 days using the link in the description below. Now, instead of typing out the same explanation over and over again, Again, and your DMs and your emails, you could easily design a visual FAQ. You can build something really pretty that answers your most common questions. So things like, how do I book? How can I work with you? What's included in your package? How long does the delivery take? And 
so on. You get it. It looks so professional. It saves you time and is super helpful for your audience or your clients. Plus, you can reuse it on your website. You can pin it as a social post or you can use it in your email replies. Something that I've done for myself for years is to gather all the nicest comments and really great client feedback and any great notes from my audience, things like this, just to make sure I'm retaining them for the future. If you've got some incredible feedback or amazing results from your clients, there's a great way to show it off through Canva. You can use it to build a beautifully designed testimonial wall with embedded videos, screenshots of comments, nicely styled, of course, quotes, things like that. This works best in the form of a simple scrollable website. Not only can it become handy when you're providing social proof on your offer pages, but you can also easily mention it or attach it with your media kits or send it off with pitches. It makes way more impact than a plain list of text reviews. Now, this one's often overlooked, but it's so, so clever. Canva lets you generate QR codes right inside your design, which means you can add them to your product flyers that you put in the package and event banner or even your business card or a screensaver on your phone. This can link to a review form, a discount, your lead magnet, a private video or a contact page where people can find the most important links. This means you get to connect even better with your audience and makes your physical presence way more powerful. If you have an online shop or create a lot of visual content, chances are you may need to remove backgrounds from product photos or images of yourself. So this one may be a massive time saver for you. With Canva Sheets, you can actually bulk remove backgrounds from your photos in just one go. So instead of uploading and editing, then clicking remove background on each and every one of your images, you can actually put all of them on a spreadsheet and then select the whole column to remove the backgrounds instantly. You can then open them up in a single design and batch download as a transparent PNG. This is perfect for product mockups, content batches, Pinterest graphics, or even marketplace listings. I use this every single week when I create thumbnails for my videos. And this way I have a whole library of photos always ready to reuse in content. This is probably one of my favorite little hidden ways of using Canva that you may not have known about. It has to do with a special way in which you can work with whiteboards. Say you're doing a client call or you're brainstorming with a team or you're running a workshop or even planning vacation with your girls. You can prepare a Canva whiteboard beforehand, then have everyone jump in during the call and then watch the magic happen. You can brainstorm together, you can vote on ideas, you can plan your content or get client feedback live on screen without switching to a different app or getting everyone to talk during the meeting and then painstakingly trying to take notes while they're at it. Everyone can interact in real time. It's genuinely such a fun experience and the templates make it so much easier to start. And yes, you're left with a gold mine of ideas afterwards. And I'm telling you, it's such a gem. And last but not least, if you're starting to pitch yourself for a podcast, you're getting brand deals or press opportunities, you need a speaker kit or a media kit. And Canva's perfect for building one. Now, you can start by including your headshots. You can add your bio, audience stats. You can add your logos, media you've been featured on or companies you've worked with. You can do your services, embed any of your past work, like your viral social posts or previous partnerships. All of it can be designed beautifully and stay on brand. It's such a great way to show up professionally and make it easy for collaborators to decide that you're a great fit. Now, let me know in the comments which one of these surprised you the most. And if you want a full tutorial on any of them, I'd love to create that for you. So let me know. Check out my original things you didn't know you could do in Canva video here if you missed it and it's packed with even more clever tricks or you can head on over to this one to learn how amazing Canva Sheets are. Subscribe, like, it helps me bring you more content and don't forget to claim your free Canva Pro trial too. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.